Hello, and thank you for listening to this episode of the Billy Newman Photo Podcast. My name is Billy Newman. I'm here today with Marina Hansen. How you doing, Marina? Hey, Billy. I'm good. That's great. Thanks so much for joining me in the studio again today. It's a, a rainy day, kind of again, but we're hanging out yeah. again. And uh, we had a couple photos to go through, uh, some of the stuff that's going up on uh, my Instagram, and probably some other places too. Maybe it'll make it to Instagram. I don't know. It's probably old news by this point. Oh, we have some new photos that are going to go up sometime soon too. Maybe I'm not. So talking. many photos. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it'll be fun. I gotta, I gotta get all this stuff uh, in order. But uh, yeah, stuff that's been going out over like the last weekend. Um, we had uh, one of my favorite photos that was with that uh, that Lee big stopper, that 10, 10 stop ND filter. Yeah. And I shot it with the F4 uh, during the summertime on the river. And it's, it's got this really cool blue sheen uh, with a rock that's kind of protruding out from the river. And so it looks kind of cool, but, uh, but it's a long exposure. And so the, the flow of the river gets kind of washed away. So you don't really see like the specifics of the water and it kind of looks this sort of surreal translucent blue surface with this rock coming up through it. I thought it was a really cool one. It's up, uh, or it's kind of in my portfolio, whatever that is. It's probably <laughs> some website somewhere, I think. <laughs> and it's up on uh, Twitter. So, and Facebook. There you go. Uh, but it's one of my favorites. I really like that one. Uh, and a few of the others that I took with the with the Big Stopper. I was thinking about that more. I want to do, do more photos with that, especially in the winter. I was thinking about that too, actually. I think there are some cool landscape things we can do with that in I think the winter. Cool, yeah, cool landscape stuff, cool water, or like kind of gray, silver tone stuff yeah, might be cool. Yeah, I think cool. we can do some cool silver tone, glassy, surreal looking water yeah. shoots. Yeah. I really like this photo, and I like I like a lot of the photos that you've taken with that filter. It's fine. I think yeah, it's cool. The, I like the, the, the beach is cool. that really dreamy look that you get. Yeah, from having that long of an exposure, and it's cool getting to do that with daytime. It and is, having it it's be like really cool, yeah. A Taking day photo, long but you exposures in the like, day mm. are real surreal. Yeah, it's very interesting. Yeah, I, yeah, I like that a lot. A lot of the, the glassy look that it puts on the water is cool. I mm -hmm. want to do more with sky too. I guess that's I like the other so side too. of it. Yeah, I think there's some cool stuff with clouds. Yeah, other stuff with clouds, I think would be cool. Like le leaving it open for a minute, minute and a half, four minute, mm -hmm. especially in the evening when it's lower light. It really drops, that, that 10 stop black really drops down so you can shoot for a long time. And you leave your, your shutter open with kind of the landscape staying still. And then that those clouds kind of sweeping yeah. over and you get like a cool kind of streaked effect in the sky. Even on kind of days like this where it might be a little bit overcast, there's sort of mm -hmm. some dynamics, you know. Yeah, it's not just texture, gray. Right? But yeah, yeah, you can see some some dark and light. You can see some contrast that sort of streak through. But it shows this kind of surreal effect, especially when it's partly cloudy. That mixed mm -hmm. sky kind of gives a, a smoothed, surreal effect. It's kind of fun. I want to try it and do fun. a I lot like of photos like that with you. Yeah, I like how you get to kind of do a different type of photography. With yeah. It. It's cool. I appreciate I like it. it for that. I know. I, I really like the surreal kind of clean yeah, really artistic. looking. Yeah, art, yeah, I, I really like that stuff, and uh, I want to try and shoot more of that. I mean, we were talking about that too, like when we were looking at the the F four, like the foam camera. We have that that other uh, top prism, the viewfinder piece. We have the the one that's like the the regular kind of hold up to your eyeball and look through it, and then we have the other one that's like the the top down, like look straight down to the view screen, yeah. and then out the prism of the lens. And it's kind of cool, like like holding it down, looking at it, sort of like a like an old. 40s medium format camera or something or like a weird Hasselblad that you look through with the little screens that pop up on the side <laughs> and uh, it's cool having it but I was trying to think ah, how do I use it or something like what like what do I really use it for I want to try something like that like you know on a tripod sort of set up some more cool special lands or you know like landscapes in a certain spot or kind of look at like contours and stuff or sweeping clouds or rivers or something that you can work with the water the flow yeah. I think that'd that be sense. really cool. I think some little like river and creek areas would be fun to try out some. Yeah, some river, stuff creek stuff, too. lakeside stuff. Anything on the shore would be cool. Yeah. That'd be kind of fun. Yeah, I'd like to do that, especially on these days that you have a bit of a mixed light. Like right now, looking at the window, it was like really cloudy, dark. But now we're getting just a little bit of sunlight from the cap on the side. So yeah, it's it's cool. Like the little light changes you can get. It'd mm -hmm. be fun to try and try and do a few more photos with the with the filter. But it was fun. It was fun uh, trying it. I want to pull it out, and we should do more shoots with it. Yeah, I want to get back into using it more again. That I think it'd be cool. pretty fun. 
And then the other photo that I put up, um, it was a, it was just kind of a silly one. I remember uh, we were, we were camped out on the beach uh, down in what is it, Brookings, Gold Beach, somewhere around there. It was for, it was for my cousin Lauren's uh, bachelor party. It was just a surf trip on the beach. And it was kind of cool. We were hanging out. I guess there was a, a hole in one of the boards that was getting waterlogged. And so we went down to Dutch Bros, got some Americanos, picked up a couple free stickers, and then we uh, we cut open a little bit of the board or like you know kind of cleaned out the wound of the board and then like put a sticker over it so that it was <laughs> a waterproof seal <laughs> for whatever time it was over over the deck to uh to keep out the water from the the foam on the inside so then they went out That's and funny. went surfing and stuff but yeah so it was a little photo of the the board getting a getting a treatment but yeah it was, a, it was one <laughs> on the film up, camera did it end up working yeah, well, I think so. Yeah, for some for some for time. I guess they've done it for days. for a while. I don't know how it works. I guess you can you can do it for a while. It's not like crucial. It's not like a flat yeah. tire, maybe. But I here it adds a lot of drag. You probably don't want to do it. You know, and it probably changes a lot, like how optimum your stuff is working. A little bit at least. Yeah, it was a little but water drag. It was fun. Yeah, we had a good time going out there. I remember my my F four was like acting up a bunch. Like I guess it was my batteries were going bad. You know, like oh, all the double yeah. A's, just the big set of double A's that all run together. And it was that big silly long lens, that big four hundred <laughs> millimeter, is trying to focus and turn that big pound and a half of glass back and <laughs> forth with a little screw mount, uh, just from the silly battery. So yeah, I wiped it out, and then I kept going out. It was I was ready to take a picture, like you talked about before, and it oh, would be like kind of on, 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 and then you got to take a picture, and it'd be like. Bleh. It just doesn't. <laughs> It's so I was gonna take a picture. That would have been cool. And then, yeah, you, so you kind of huff and muff about it, and then yeah, I finally swapped the batteries, and uh, it finally it worked again. Hey. hey, yeah, but the little battery meter it doesn't show uh, anything on that. It's just for yeah, fun. Or something. Yeah, that's what it seems like on yeah. my cameras too. Yeah. Well, shoot. So yeah, I think that's uh, most of the photo stuff that we had to talk about. Some of the images that we were putting out. Do you have anything that you put out, Marina? I was trying to think of anything. I had another photo uh, of like a person doing a handstand up on uh, Spencer's Butte. Oh, yeah. That was I a fun hike I remember photo. going up there. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Doing a little sunset handstand. It's pretty impressive. Yeah. He held that. I remember I took a picture of this too. And I remember he held that handstand for like two minutes. Yeah, it was, it was like a long time. A long time that he was holding it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be able to do That's that, hard. man. Yeah, you gotta I remember, be pretty focused to get, get yeah. that going. That's so much work. Ugh. Yeah, I would be. I would have a hard time like just staying that still, standing up with my legs for two minutes. <laughs> yeah, just standing, so, so stay in place. <laughs> <laughs> just stay really focused and stand there. Ugh. Ugh. I can't. Uh, but yeah, that was it. Was cool to to shoot some photos of uh, of that guy doing a handstand up there. It was fun. But yeah. It was a, a little hike from way back. I remember that one. Yeah. That was a nice evening, though. Really cool light. It was. It was fun, yeah, it was cool. Fun time. Yeah. Thanks for going on so many cool hikes and little trips and adventures and photo things with me. I'm so glad we do. Yeah, it's been pretty fun. Thanks for doing some podcasts with me, too. I appreciate that. Doing a bunch of these silly little Billy Newman photo ones. Thanks for having me guest on your shit. Shoot. Hanging out in our studio. Pretty cool studio. So cool. Well, thanks a lot, Marina, for joining me today. And uh, yeah, on behalf of Marina Hansen, my name is Billy Newman. I appreciate everybody for listening. Check out some of the photos online at billynewmanphoto.com or at Billy Newman on Instagram. And once again, appreciate you guys listening. Bye.